Hey guys, it's Carl here, and I thought I'd do another video here, um, kind of explaining some of the ways that I approach practicing and um, various other musical things. I had a lot of questions about um, how to stay motivated to practice, because as you all know, as you learn pretty much anything, not just a musical instrument, just going to be highs and lows. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to deal with that. Now, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And while you do that, please ring that notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And be sure to check out guitarlessons365.com. Um, I have my GL365 Academy there, which contains all of my guitar courses for many, many different levels and styles of guitar. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So hopefully you'll check it out. And I would like to hear your guys' ideas about ways that you personally stay motivated um, in the comments below. Um, maybe it'll help me out and help other players that are watching this. So what causes us to kind of get burned out a little bit on practicing? Um, my belief is it can cause, many different things can cause it. Um, one is you might not feel like that you're progressing fast enough, so it's a little bit frustrating. Um, so you tend to avoid practice because um, you feel like you're not, it's a waste of time for you. Or you just might have a lot of things going on in your life. Um, you might, you know, have different hobbies. You might go to school or have work, have a day job, um, have a family, um, have a bunch of dogs like I do that I got to take care of. So there's a lot of things that go on in a person's life uh, that can make the music study take a back seat. But regardless of how many things you have in your life, I think that staying motivated with music is, is kind of something you learn to do through time and you learn um, what it is that is affecting your level of motivation towards the instrument. Um, and then the ones that really, really stick with it over a long period of time, um, learn to deal with that and know what's going on and, and, and can quickly fix it if it happens. Now for myself, I know if I get out of a routine with practicing, um, that makes me very unmotivated. I am one of those types of people that gets on a roll with something and then they, I really put a lot of work into it. But if I miss a few days of practice, I start noticing that I start taking more and more days off of practice because my momentum of practicing is gone. And that is the number one key I want to talk about before we start talking about specific elements that you can do or, or things that are causing this is the key to motivation is momentum. Getting bogged down with one specific thing that you're working on or, um, or just anything that you're doing, if you're focusing too much on something, it can very quickly uh, lose your momentum with the practice of music. You instead want to continue feel like you're growing. Um, and that's what I mean by momentum, which means you're continually moving on to new things and developing. Um, and it doesn't mean that you have to perfect everything before it. So when I'm doing my guitar courses, like my technique course, uh, my, I have many technique courses in, in my academy, um, in the GL365 Academy. Well, in those courses, I get questions all the time. How fast do I have to have the technique exercises before I move to the next chapter? And all I generally say is, I just want you to have the coordination down. And I want you to maybe be able to play them at like a moderate tempo. And moderate is different for different players. A beginner, moderate tempo is probably a lot slower than an advanced player. But I tell them then after you have that, move on. Keep going to the next chapters because those chapters will keep reviewing the things that happened before. But you want to feel like you're moving. You've got momentum through your study. If you get bogged down on one thing or one little exercise or one little piece of music, um, it can really frustrate you and that is when you're going to become unmotivated. So a lot of this can come from practicing the wrong way. Now, this is a very broad subject. How do you practice the wrong way? Well, maybe you're spending too much time just working on technique. You're not playing enough music. Um, we all do this because we love music, right? Or else why would we play a musical instrument? So it is important to have that music in your daily life. It could be your own music that you're creating. It could be your favorite artist music that challenges and inspires you. Whatever it is, I still think music should be a part of your daily practice routine. I fell victim to the same thing when I was a teenager. I was obsessed with technique. 
all I wanted to do was play technique exercises. I didn't play many songs. And um, after a while, I got burned out. Now, how I got back into music wasn't necessarily learning more music. Um, it was opening up the amount of areas of music that I studied. So instead of always just practicing technique, I figured out, wow, it's really fun to develop my musicianship too. It's fun to study theory. It's fun to develop my ear by practicing ear training. So I really sought out those different areas of music study and it really started becoming fun, becoming fun to practice and, and, and that stuff is never ending. You can just continue to grow and you can grow at a very rapid rate and do that along with your guitar playing and then you, your, your technique studies and playing music or whatever. And all this stuff comes together and it really keeps your head in the game. And that's what you want to do. You keep your momentum. You feel like you're growing as a musician. And if you have that level of satisfaction, um, I, I think that's what's going to help you keep coming back to the instrument and trying to get better and better. So that doesn't mean that you've got to barely practice technique. I Trust me, I've spent many, many tens of thousands of hours practicing technique on the guitar. Um, it's a very important element of study. You just need a bit of balance. A great way to sometimes practice technique isn't with technique exercises. It's taking a favorite solo of yours or, or a rhythm, if it's a rhythm technique or whatever, of an artist that you love, taking a, a section of it and breaking it down and turning it that into a little technique workout. Um, now, you, you kind of have to have the know how to do that. The ability to take something and isolate something and then create little technique workouts out of it. So then when you put it all back together, you can play that part. So now you can actually play a piece of music directly related to your technique study. And um, so that's something I work with students in my academy with. Just like we get a difficult part of song, this is how you're going to break it down and practice it. Um, but that is just the same. You can develop great technique from music, not just technique exercises. It's also important to maybe branch out and, and, and look into a different style. If you're a heavy metal guitarist or you play rock guitar or you just like classic rock, maybe, you know, check out a couple of classical guitar pieces. You know, open up your fingerstyle technique. Or um, if you're into blues and stuff, check out check out some jazz, you know, a really kind of a jazz up your blues licks. They sound killer. And um, it's not, it's, it's really, it's just a whole new world when you do it. And it's very inspiring uh, when you kind of give another style of music a chance. Now, one of the biggest hurdles is something that really didn't happen when I was younger as a teenager. Uh, when I first started playing guitar, you know, we didn't have these internet resources that we have now. That was back in the mid 80s. So um, it, I had developed and was already teaching professionally till uh, before the internet really hit. Um, but so I didn't have this vast resource of information out there. And there's literally anything you want to learn from guitar. You got guys like me that are just putting out tons of junk on the internet, hoping that people watch it. But it's, it can be great. You can learn anything that you want. But at the same time, it can be overwhelming. And you feel like you need to know all of this stuff at once. And all I want to say is music, is a, music study is a lifelong journey. Um, you don't need to practice all your technique, every single style under the sun, um, all orchestration, ear training theory, um, you know, be able to memorize a, a million songs. It's not the way that you're going to really learn. You want to take a couple of areas of music and focus on them for and intensely for a short amount of time. Or a short amount could be three, six months, maybe a year. And then the fall, after you've got that down, it's like it's really ingrained into your musicianship, then you can go off and do something else. But if you spread yourself too thin and you have a practice session which is just loaded with dozens of things that you want to practice and study, it's going to become overwhelming and yours also doesn't allow you to get good at one of those. You'll just kind of be halfway learn it all. So my opinion is would strip it down a little bit, take like say I want to work on my improvisation and technique and that's what I want to work on really heavy for the next six months. And then after that, I want to study some blues for six months. It's something like that. You know, 
I think doing that, now there's certain elements like ear training that should go on throughout everything. It's something that's always neglected, but something like that, basic ear training, your, 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 as, your ear is um, the most important asset to a musician. So I would say that's something that can go on at all times. But all these different elements, I think you should work hard on just a, a two or three at most, and then uh, kind of set this time, and at this point, I'm gonna switch over and start practicing this. So I think that is where you're gonna get a lot more um, um, enjoyment out of it because you're gonna see that you're spending enough time on these elements that you're, you're improving at them rapidly if you're practicing them correctly. And that will inspire you to keep practicing. And then you'll know it's time when to start moving on to different areas. So besides the momentum in your music studies, as a last resort, I always go back to the first day that I got a guitar. I, I was Christmas when I was 11 years old. My, my dad brings in a, uh, I come around the corner and there's a black Kramer Focus 1000 with a little practice amp, shiny black guitar. I still remember the feeling of it. I still remember just how great it is. Now, if I, if I, if I could play, I would do anything to be able to play like I can now at that age. Um, so it's sometimes you just kind of go back and get a little nostalgic about the excitement of when you first picked up a guitar and how you just, it just, for me, it just changed me overnight uh, of what I wanted to do and what I wanted to be. Even though that one day, my older brother who had a friend that played some guitar taught me like, I basically, I think I played the bass line to Owner of a Lonely Heart that first day. And I felt like a king. I didn't, even, I, didn't know how to, I didn't know how to hold the guitar. I didn't know how to pick. I didn't know anything of it. But it just, I knew immediately that this is all I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And so when I get kind of unmotivated and I'm just like, oh, whatever, um, I, I have great gear now. I have great, you know, guitars and all over the house and uh, recording software and, and processors and things that just, you know, um, I just, I think back to that time and go, you know, it, this is, this is really fun what I do. And so, um, kind of fall back in love with the instrument and, um, listen to some of the music that excited you back then. Um, and it can really take you, um, get you re-motivated again and get you on to practicing. So hopefully, I hope some of these ideas uh, will work for you and realize that every musician goes through it. Every musician has their ups and downs um, and it's just part of the process. And if you learn to deal with it correctly, it shouldn't hinder you for too long and you'll be back in the game in no time. All right, I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com.